Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Uh, I do the premium problems on Patreon, and I do, uh, if you want to reach out to me, just uh, join my Discord, message me, try to get back to everyone. This is a problem called longest common prefix. Got some likes, some dislikes, pretty split reviews. Uh, write a function to find the longest common prefix string amongst an array of strings. Uh, if there's no common prefix, return an empty string. So we want to find, if you guys don't know what a prefix is, I mean, that's pretty simple. I think everyone knows what a prefix is, but it's a uh, the beginning of a word. So, you know, a prefix is any combination of letters that, uh, you know, starts a word off. So um, w in this case, we want to find a common prefix, and we want to find the longest common so a common prefix is, oh, they all start with the letter F, but they also all start with FL. They do not all start with FLO, however. Only these two do. So we can't do FLO. So what is the approach here? And in this case, uh, there's no common prefix. They all start with different letters. So what is the approach to solving this problem in a good uh, time complexity? We have an array of strings, so we obviously have to loop through it at least once to check the strings. Um, we want to build a string containing the prefix, so if we loop through each one, you know, we could say, oh, well, they all have an F, so let's put that onto the string, and then loop through again. Oh, well, and then add another letter on. You know, you could keep doing that, but that's going to be N squared, because you're going to have to loop, you're going to have to see this, you're going to say, okay, FL, check if this has an FL, check if this has an FL, and then go back. It's going to be a uh, slow time complexity. There is a better way to do this, actually. What we can do is we can set the first element of the array, so the first string. We can just set flower as the prefix, and then while we go through the rest of the elements, we can remove letters off of flower. So when we see flow, we could say, okay, our prefix is flower, but it only goes up to flow here, or flow. So we can take off the ER, and then we have flow as our prefix. And then we go to here, and now we reduce it to FL. So you start with a very long word as the prefix, and then as you go through the list, you just reduce it to the, um, you know, the whatever these letters contain out of that original prefix. And uh, it'll work out perfectly because the setting the string to the first element um, we have to, the letters in the first element will contain, will be contained in the let longest prefix no matter what. So, that's kind of the idea here. Let me know if you don't understand. I think I explained it pretty well. So, if the string length is zero, so if there's no strings in the array, we can just return an empty string. Um, we will set our prefix to the first element of the array. So, strings of zero. And then we'll loop from the first string on, I mean the uh, second string on, so we'll set, this will be the prefix, then we will loop through the rest. Let me do an example here. Prefix equals flower. This is what we're saying up here, we're saying prefix is equal to flower. Now we're going to be looping from this point on, so the first index on. So, you know, discard this. We're going to be looping through these elements now. And we're going to say, okay. Let's just write that out. Sturge.length. Um, I++. Plus plus. I just want to make sure I'm articulating this correctly for you guys. Sorry for the pauses. Um, so the prefix is flower because that's the first element. Now we want to loop through the rest of them. Flow and flight. So what we'll say is, while... The current um, string, like flow, while flow dot index of, which is a Java method to check the index of a particular string within another string, is so while the index of the prefix string is not equal to zero. So while f we cannot find this prefix at the beginning of this string, then we will decrease the size of the string. So we'll say prefix is equal to prefix.substring of zero. And 
to prefix dot length minus one. So this will reduce the character by one throughout this while loop each time. So while this isn't at the beginning, the prefix isn't at the beginning of flow, then we're going to reduce the size each time. So within that while loop, we'll do, take a letter off. Okay, is flow the, at the beginning of the string? No, take a letter off. Okay, flow is at the beginning of this string, so we can continue now. Then you loop to the next string, which is flight, and you say, okay, while flow is not at the beginning of flight, then you take a letter off. Okay, while FLO is not at the beginning of flight, okay, you take an F letter off, and FL is at the beginning of flight, so that would be the end. We would get to the end of all the strings after we do that for every string. We have our valid prefix, which is going to be the longest common prefix between all strings. Uh, I think I wrapped that up pretty nicely. Thank you for bearing with me with the little pauses there. I just wanted to articulate that for you guys. We can submit this now. And um, should be all good to go. There you go. Very fast. Uh, instead of an n squared runtime, we're just doing a linear scan through all the strings. Uh, you do have this little while loop in here where you have to pop letters off, but that shouldn't be too bad depending on the string size. We're, pro we're more concerned about the array size. So thanks for watching. Really appreciate everyone that watches my videos. And, um, yeah, I love you guys very much. And, um, you know, that's it. So see you in the next one. Oh, yeah, let me know if you have questions.